It's rare to find a teenager who likes to take things slow. You miss a lot of opportunities when you go really fast. But Megan Winters knows how quickly things can change. It literally happened in a blink of an eye, you know. For everyone else, the moment just stopped, like completely. But for me, you know, it just, it just happened. What happened was a 50-foot fall down an abandoned well when Megan was just seven years old. She broke nearly every bone in her face, shattered her legs and arm. Her rescue drawing international attention, support, and criticism. Honestly, it's no one's fault. It happened, but I don't blame anyone. Megan doesn't remember what it felt like at the bottom of that well for an hour and a half. She remembers the man who pulled her out. My hero, Captain Clay. And he didn't hesitate. He went down and did what he needed to do to save my daughter. You know, that's everything to us. Last year, the firefighter told us he was just doing his job. What I'd signed up to do was risk my life for others. Captain Clay Kirbo didn't like the word hero, but that's what he was to Megan. And he showed up for her again and again in her recovery in the years that followed. We're home. We had a great relationship with him and his family, so losing him was really hard recently. Captain Clay died of cancer last summer. Megan and her family honored him. You could just see the pride written all over his face for his kids and his wife. And to watch them then go through losing him. You know, we lost a hero, but they lost everything. Megan and Melissa carry the lessons Clay taught them through the years. You have to go on and keep doing stuff you enjoy or you're, it's going to get you down. And you can't let it hold you back. So slowly, steadily, Megan keeps climbing. Yes, it seems hard now, but later down the line, it'll look like a blink. You know, time will just go by <laughs> so fast, even though it feels so slow, it'll be okay. Megan is about to graduate high school and will attend college full time in the fall. She told me she doesn't know what she wants to do with the rest of her life yet, but she says if she's learned anything from all of this, she knows she has a lot of time to figure it all out.